Right guys, so here it is. This is the Oidroid C2 unboxing. So let's have a look. Let's see. So it comes in like this. So let's see what it's got inside. So turn it around. So we just got a couple of uh, bits of paper, which uh, basically, in my case, itemizes uh, a lot of the little other bits and pieces that I I bought. For instance, I bought I bought a power supply. I uh, bought a cam, basically a 720p cam. Um, also bought a weatherboard, the actual Oidroid 2, Oidroid Shoi 2, which is the LCD display. I bought that, and a EMCC memory, and a Hi-Fi shield as well for making a Hi-Fi center. So there's that. So here we go. Here is actually the here is the the camera. Got the um, 720p camera so you can probably see that there there's a 720p camera it's got the logo or droid here haven't plugged it in of course I'll, I'll be plugging that in later on and show you how that will work but anyway as you can see it's uh, just your standard clip-on camera it's USB plug it into the board and nothing 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 to write home about just something which uh, is a 720p camera. Now, then what we've got here is, let's have a look at this. This is just your box standard. This is actually the power supply. So I guess I can take it out, but you know, it's just your standard power supply that plugs into the wall. So nothing special, nothing, nothing exciting there really. Um, this is the actual thing that we are all here for. This is the actual hub this is the meat of everything so let's take it apart it, it comes in the little packet and voila so yeah it's it's very small and tiny and there's not a lot to see really except lots of uh, bits of metal really and you, you got the heat sink here over the CPU very fast CPU um, you've got your HDMI 4k you got your USB uh, you got your power socket here uh, this is for your battery, I think, um, for your real-time clock. There is an infrared sensor. Uh, obviously, your your, um, your I/O here, programmable I/O here, and um, Ethernet, gigabit, and USB for four ports. And of course, on the back here, you got some memory. You can either have SD card memory here as an SD card reader, or you can have EMMC memory, which I've got actually, which I'll show you in a minute. So. Nice bit of kit, really powerful really, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually getting it run up. So that's that there, I'll just put that over here. What else have we got? But, so here's the thing, now this is really tiny, I'm going to bring it up to the camera, I hope the camera can zoom in here. Uh, maybe not, let's just zoom in the camera. Um, it's actually the weatherboard sensor, it had lots of little sensors, I'll take it out of the packet here. Um, it's really a minute little thing, it has, so yeah, you can probably if I bring it down here, you can probably, there it is, this is the weatherboard. Um, just, just a little bit of, uh, it's got a header on it here, which I basically just plug into some of the jumpers on the board. Um, so anyway, there's, there's that, I'll put that back in here, it's quite a delicate piece. Um, and uh, we'll go to the next bit. So, now, what else do we have here? Now, this is interesting, this is the, I think this is the LCD display, yes it is. This is the LCD display that I bought for the weather board to display the weather information. Or you can use it to do anything you like. It talks through, it has an Arduino interface. It talks, I think, through serial I.O. And um, you have to run up the Arduino simulator on the Android board and then, and then send commands to it through that. But anyway, I'll be plugging that in and trying that out. So that's the... Um, that's the little LCD display there. What else do we have here? Um, obviously, we got the jumpers. You know, if you want to stack up lots of different things, these are the these are the jumpers. Um, and we got this little Android. This is the actual. This is interesting. This is the actual um, and uh, the Oidroid um, uh, internal configuration of the board um, shows you all the I/O and everything. So that that's quite quite interesting. Uh, there's a picture of it here. You guys can see that. So that that's a nice bit of uh, 
nice nice brochure there, well well put together. Now, what do we have here? Now, this is interesting. What did I what did I order here? So let's pull this out. Ah, this is very good. This is the Hi-Fi, the Hi-Fi module. This is high speed digital to analog converter for high fertility sound, which I'm looking forward to actually, looking forward to building a high definition or high fidelity audio hi-fi system, uh, which I can send, you know, MP3 to and then get really, really good analog sound out of my speaker. So looking forward to that as well. So there you go. That also plugs in. I think that's the one that plugs in. Sorry, I, last time I, that's the one that plugs into the Android, Android uh, board straight away. Or Droid board, and the weather station has to plug into the external board there. Hello, back. So there you go. And then on the bottom here, we've just got some cables. We just got a USB cable here. Nothing, nothing to have right hand about. This is the EMMC memory, and um, I've bought uh, 16 gig, so it's pretty fast uh, memory. Uh, this is just an adapter uh, that allows you to connect it to your standard USB port. So there you have it guys, it's all there is, that's the, that's the kit, I'll be assembling this and I'll make another video once I've assembled the kit and have it, and have it run up and I'll show you some screens as well on a display. So hopefully that was educational. Go out and buy one of these kits guys, it's very very cheap, it's, um, it only costs 40 US dollars for the board itself, uh, the other bits obviously cost a little bit more. But, you know, it's a small price to pay for someone who wants to, uh, you know, get geeky with it like myself. All right, hope you enjoy this video and um, look forward to the next one. Thank you. Have yourself a great day. Bye.